Hey guys, welcome back to episode 5 of the video editing course. I hope you guys are enjoying this series, but without further ado, in this episode, I'm going to be teaching you guys how to add overlays in your video because adding overlays is the best thing you can do to increase viewer engagement. I did have a little bit of trouble in the editing process while I was editing this episode, so apologies for those of you who won't understand halfway through what's actually going on but basically what i did was that i clicked on a video clip and then pressed the crop function on the little toolbar just above your timeline and i basically went to pan and zoom and i adjusted the end and starting of where the clip is and so what that does is basically it creates a zoom in and zoom out effect but yeah i hope you guys really enjoyed this episode please don't forget to like subscribe share and comment and please share this with someone who wants to learn video editing so on my screen right here we have of course a video of me talking again that's a way better example than just having a static or motion or soundless video i should say so this is from uh, a few weeks ago and so in this video i'm going to be teaching you guys how to add overlays and how to actually improve your video editing skills by adding overlays because overlays is a way of actually showing the viewer context into what the video is actually about or what you're trying to explain to them. Because video is all about visually making the viewer understand what you're trying to say. Of course, if you don't have any overlays, if you don't have effects or anything that Im improves the visuality of the viewer's experience, then you're not really creating a very good video. So let me talk about what actually an overlay is. An overlay is a video, it could be a video, it could be a title, it could be an element as well that comes in front of your talking head video, which is this one right here, okay? And what its main purpose is, as I told you, is to improve the viewer's experience in watching the video. So like in the previous video when I taught you guys how to add titles in your video, that was also another way of actually adding overlays because titles are another type of overlay. So in this case, so let's say if we want to improve the viewer's experience in watching the video, we will add some sort of stock footage, some sort of way we're actually explaining what the video is actually about or what that section is actually about. So in terms of just you know putting an overlay a random scene into the video it's basically just a drag and drop system so i can basically just take this overlay and boom that's my overlay done okay but that's not the end of the video because there's a whole lot of things you can do with overlays now first of all this is also a good way of adding overlays but uh as you can see here that we have to use two video tracks instead of one so what i'm gonna do is that i'm gonna cut where this overlay starts and i'm gonna cut when this overlay ends and i'm basically going to detach the sound of course from this video clip so as you can see here that we have smoothly transitioned from the talking head the a roll into the b roll okay overlay basically so yeah so this is another way of basically cleaning up your edits and making sure that your editing looks a lot more cleaner once you jump back into the project and the good thing about this this strategy is that you can also put transitions in between your clips okay because when i had it up here i yes i could put transitions which i am going to teach you in the next episode but it's of course not the best way to do it because then you have transitions that are not interlinked and then it just looks weird uh from one end to another clips and it just it just makes the experience a lot worse so you can literally just add transitions in between these clips so now we have our overlay in place and it was not the most hardest thing to do but what can we actually do with the overlay of course now we have it sitting in our timeline but that's not the end of the whole story okay so to improve the viewer's experience even more we can actually put some effects little effects not like you know flashers or kabooms or you know not, not like that sort of stuff but i'm thinking about zoom ins zoom outs a few titles on top of the overlay 
So an overlay on top of an overlay uh, just to improve the viewer's experience. So what I'm going to do is that just for context, you would have seen many videos on YouTube, on Instagram, TikTok, anywhere, is that whenever they're trying to portray or show something that's significant in the video, they're going to have the video or the camera zooming in or zooming out, depending on what the video is actually about. So this is what they call pan and zoom, meaning that you, of course, zoom in and zoom out of an object. So what you're going to do is that you're going to go up to here and when you click crop, you're going to come up to this screen right here and you want to click on pan and zoom. And it's going to show you these two boxes uh, saying start and end. So what you're going to do is that because we're starting from the full screen, the full width of the video, and we're going to slowly, slowly zoom in onto an object or some sort of positioning. So we can drag this part, the end box, so that it is in the center. And if you can see, there's this little arrow there, which shows you how much you have to move in order to make it center. And once that arrow disappears, means that you have fully centered there. I fully centered my video and now I'm going to click apply. So now once we play the video, we can actually see that we have the zoom in effect on this overlay. Step three step framework, let's actually understand what makes up a good YouTube title. There you go. That's a simple way of actually playing with an overlay and making sure that your video is even more intriguing to the viewer. Now, a lot of other things that you can do is of course put in uh, filters or if you want to change the color grading, which I have shown you how to do. So if you haven't seen that, then make sure you go check out the second episode uh, where I show you the whole interface and all that sort of stuff. But in terms of uh, other ways of intriguing the viewer, I suggest you do play around with this add some text, do the zoom in effect that I did, also the zoom out effect, which is the opposite way, and see how you go, see how you play around. And of course, if you guys are enjoying this video editing course, then make sure to give this video a like and subscribe to the channel. And if you still know someone who wants to learn video editing, there is still time, then please make sure to share this video, share this playlist with them so that they can learn video editing as quick as possible. But I'll see you guys next time.